being stationed in Europe as a forward deployed uh, regiment in the United States Army really kind of epitomizes the Army operating concept, uh, operating in a complex world. And those relationships that I could describe are really unique in what makes serving in Europe just an outstanding experience. An assignment in U.S. Army Europe is sometimes referred to uh, as the best leadership opportunity in the Army, and that Europe in general is the Army's leadership laboratory. Recently, the regiment's been training in over seven different countries around Europe. So Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Romania, Bulgaria, and Germany. And we're getting ready to conduct operations in Hungary. And when we conduct these combined training events, it really establishes another type of relationship, the relationship between soldier and soldier. I have a few uh, sergeant majors in the Baltic states that I have a personal relationship at the personal and military level. I uh, went to the Sergeant Majors Academy with them at Fort Bliss. With me having these personal relationships that has shown my soldiers, um, it's okay to have relationships uh, both personally and professionally with other militaries. Uh, they have been able to, as well, uh, have relationships and gain uh, perspective outside of just the U.S. Army and have uh, military relationships that are growing, enabling the Alliance and 2CR uh, to accomplish our mission. Well, working with Romanians as being a female first sergeant, it was amazing for them to see this rank and gender. And I, we, we learned a lot from them. They spoke really good English, which was, which was a great help for us. Um, and we learned some of their language. We learned the Romanian language as well. And we learned a lot of, um, of their ways of handling logistical as well as they learned a lot of ours. Operation Dragoon Ride was our road march back from Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and Poland. Uh, back through Germany. And the sentiment that we saw from the local population was probably one of the most significant and emotional experiences of my time in the Army. It, it was absolutely unbelievable. You know, the opportunity that we had to see the population of Eastern Europe come out and support not only our regiment, but the United States Army and the United States of America uh, was a career-defining moment. Uh, the popularity, the show of emotion, uh, that the people showed us was just absolutely unbelievable. As far as the overall the impact it had, I think that's something that my soldiers will, will remember forever. Um, so an example, when I was in, uh, in, in Prague, uh, an elderly woman in her 70s came up to me and uh, she thanked me for, you know, for my service, thanked us for, for coming back, um, urged us not to leave. Um, and, and she said that uh, the, the U.S. Army had liberated the concentration camp that her father was in, you know, obviously before she was born. And uh, my stories have very similar, my soldiers have very similar stories, you know, throughout, throughout the trip. So I think what we have found is that all of the members of the Alliance were all passionate about what we do. All of us took an oath to support and defend the United States Army and ideal. And the ideal that we took an oath to defend is the Constitution of the United States. And we're very passionate about that oath. Well, what we found is training with the soldiers across Eastern Europe that are members of the Alliance, they are just as passionate about defending their country, and they take their profession very seriously. So there's a relationship that's been built over both exercises in those countries and exercises we do in Germany that really elaborate or really bring to light the relationships between our country and the alliance.